Hello everyone and welcome back to Dragon Veil World, which is absolutely adorable. I just cannot get over this, guys. Every time I come in, I am just tickled anew at how cute everything is. Ah, it's just all designed so nicely. Now I want to make like this adorable snackery in the Village of Light and Zoo Crafting. And look at this cool idea for the ice exhibits we could do in Zoo Crafting, where you could have a mix of like the ice going across the water and hopefully creating creatures wouldn't just fall in and drown knowing it's Minecraft, but thankfully here in Dragon Vale world, my little dragons can handle the different environments just fine. And I have added in some things, let's see, yeah, you guys are with me when we added in the water dragon last time, and we have, uh, we've done a little bit of growing for some of our dragons, and I've also been alerted by this nifty little pop-up from the Daily Dragon Snap, which is an absolutely adorable name by the way that I need to be quick because we need to be level 18 to meet the magnificent Zen dragons of spring. And I really want to meet those magnificent Zen dragons of spring because I think they have something to do with cherry blossoms. So we're gonna see how high we can go with the levels today. That is going to be our big goal. I have already spoiled myself by getting some of the gemstones and so we're able to push through a lot faster than normal. But if you're wondering how to get some gemstones stones my friends the answer is by having friends no joke i actually finally went through and i synced up my i think i did it somewhere over here but i synced up my a Facebook page that I have for our Siri Pixel Biology channel with my friend list and now I have a whole bunch of cool friends like Amanda over here who has just sent me a gem and so you can get gems from your friends during the day and you can send three gems during the day. So my Facebook account has been very old for a very long time. I will try to dig out a link to it for you Horsehaven and you awesome Dragon World like the Dragon World, world people and then we can send each other gemstones and hopefully we'll be able to get enough gemstones to really push through on some of the special events and quests that go on so yes yeah, so you can end up you can end up over here and we can end up like playing together uh the the only thing is you have to be facebook friends and my friends list might actually be full so i'll have to go and check what's going on over there and it's entirely just an account to be able to play these games so i never am able to reply to messages or anything like that oh gosh there's just so many people all the time but one day one day we'll be be able to grow our little dragon worlds together through the power of friendship and those awesome gemstones. So all right, what else has changed? We have a new egg. It's really cool. I'm not really sure what is up with it. It looks really amazing. I think it's like a saber tooth dragon egg. Let's open up my dragonarium. Gosh, I love having books full of different animal species. It just makes me excited no matter what the context. Oh, I bet it's going to be a woolly dragon. I bet it is going to be a woolly dragon because I mixed together a uh, earth dragon, I think, and a water or a ice dragon, I'm pretty sure. So I'm thinking it's probably going to be a woolly dragon, maybe, or was that a geyser and a newt? Who knows? There's so many mix and match possibilities. And I totally forgot we are trying to go for the fern dragon right now too. Oh, look at it. It's just so cute. I can't handle how cute everything is in this. It's just, it's just ridiculous. It is just absolutely ridiculous. So I do want this. Ah, it's like a little chameleon and a fern had a baby. Oh no, I need this fern dragon. I need this fern dragon, but I need to be level 17 more than I need the fern dragon. So let's see, what are we going to do today? We're going to work on doing some quests. Let's go ahead and harvest up all of the snackery foods. We'll go ahead and toss down some more food to get going in the background. Uh, I did grow up a couple of our dragons, so now Emesh, who I still need to come up with a better name for him, I need to see what names you guys have possibly suggested, but Emesh brings us in so much gold. He brings in 713 gold an hour because he is an enchanted flytrap dragon, and I have fed him! <laughs> So he definitely looks different than you guys remember, right? So I fed him up to level 9. He now needs so much food to level up, but he has grown into this glorious, glorious creature. And he actually has these little, like, fly traps on his back as well, which I think is so cool. So even though he kind of was 
very unique as a baby and continues to be unique as an adult. I am very much falling in love with him. So Emish, we will probably try to feed and level you up again pretty soon because the higher level he goes, the more gold he is bringing in for us. Uh, but I actually want to level up our little Holdra, who I want to rename to maybe like Flora, but that seems kind of traditional. She's just so, so cute, but I do think she deserves to be a little older now. As you can see, because she's a normal dragon, she brings in a lot less of the gold coins per turn, but I think it'd just be really fun to see what she could grow into. So let's go ahead and grow her up, and then we'll start doing some of the various goals that we have in order to earn lots and lots of experience and build up those levels. Also, you get a ton of experience by feeding your dragon. So let's feed up. There you go, my little one. Oh, she's still cute. She's kind of like a very gawky teenager who is very much growing into, um, very much growing into her head. <laughs> But I like her! Look at that! And now she's bringing us 352 gold an hour. And because she is level 9, when it is time to go out and gather out in the wilderness, and I actually have two of my dragons out gathering right now, then hopefully she'll be able to bring back some good stuff. Also, gathering takes a very long time, so I'm beginning to realize maybe it would be good to have like some low-level dragons that you could keep inside of like some of the extra habitats, because you can buy more than one of each type of habitat, I just realized a little bit ago, and you could just have them level up really high. I think the, le like, the more common the dragon is, the higher like the easier it is to get them to high levels like you don't have to feed them quite as much so if we had them then we could just send them out constantly gathering but you need to have money to send your dragons gathering oh, money 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 and speaking of money we do have a very special goal hiding somewhere over here called building the bank raking in the dragon cash not really my friend but i'm trying build the bank to increase the amount of dragon cash you can hold so i kind of want to build the bank even though i think that it's kind of like it how am i going to ever fill that up i i just don't see that happening maybe we'll laugh that i ever said that like in a couple months and we'll be like oh siri look at you you're rolling in the millions of coins and you thought that you wouldn't be able to afford enough to feed your dragon oh siri honestly now like i don't think i'm ever going to be able to make very much money because it's so hard but you do get to have the ability when you spend your gemstones on buying cash, what happens is it fills up what you've got, like the amount of space that you could have. So I think if you put down the bank and like maybe upgrade it, my guess is that whenever you spend your gems to just like buy some cash really quickly, it fills up more of your space and you get more bang for your buck, so to speak. So I'm going to go ahead and buy the bank and if it turns out to be a waste of money then I can save you guys from doing the same thing. So let's go ahead, buy the bank. Oh my gosh, that's so much money. Why? <laughs> and we'll go ahead and like maybe put it down here. It's going to cost gemstones now to, to, be, to be placed down but I think having the bank down here makes a lot of sense. Uh, so we'll go ahead and clear the land under it. I'm spending all the gemstones for you guys because I, I love you and hopefully this will help you all out. Oh, and that was a good bit of experience actually. So I can't complain about the, the experience we just got. Uh, oh gosh, it's so cute. It's so cute. Look. Oh my gosh. The bank roofing is golden dragon scales. Ah, that's adorable. Oh, and somebody has a letter for me. What is this? What is this? All right. Oh, Silverfall Gorge is unlocked. Yes, we're actually over there now, my friend Gwynedon. Uh, greetings from below. Nothing ventured, nothing gained, right? I believe the, wo the wizard poet Gottfried Saucer wrote that. Something tells me he never went down into Silverfall Gorge, but all the same, venture and gain we did. We uncovered numerous new dragon breeds. You'll find their eggs in the Dragonarium and habitats in the market, along with some decorations we uncovered. That's not all. Now that we've finished our excavation, you're free to send your dragons into Silver Falls Gorge to gather rare items. Need directions? Tap gather from the sidebar and look left. There you go. All right. Thank you, Gwynedon. Uh, all right. So now that we have bought the bank, if I spend my money, if I, if I go through that painful process, oh my gosh, 
<laughs> that has vastly increased the amount like of not only gemstones you have to pay unfortunately um but that has very much increased the amount of gemstones we get or the amount of money oh my gosh yeah okay i i guess the bank was actually a semi good idea we could be rolling in money forever now and i wouldn't have to worry holy cow okay that was actually a good decision can you upgrade this puppy you sure can at level 13 my friends all right Right. Well, I don't regret that anymore. Let's go ahead and gather up our snacks from the snackery. We will throw down some more dragon roots. You know, when I was a lot younger, um, I would play Neopets like obsessively. I loved to go through like all the different foods that my Neopets could get and write up fake recipes for it in their little Neopets like webpage blogs that they got. <laughs> <laughs> and this that's what this is reminding me of like a hundred percent exercise your creativity no matter where you find room for it guys and you too may one day become a pixel biologist also go to college please like <laughs> study work hard in school okay so let's see what next well let's go ahead and look at our goals again so we want to hatch a thermal dragon and we want to collect a geyser dragon and he also really 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 wants me to cast a fire breath spell on any dragon which i haven't done yet so you know what let's come on down flora my earth dragon who i think i want to rename flora your name as an earth dragon being flora is kind of an interesting one so let's go ahead and rename her um brindalyn Brindala. Brindala. Why not? Brindala. That's not what I was going for. I have no idea why I named her Brindala. It's just like the first thing that came to mind. Uh, and let's actually go ahead and level her up because I think she deserves to be... I want to see what she looks like at a higher level if I have enough food. No, I don't have enough food. Okay. Uh, we're going to buy some more food, which is something I knew I needed to do anyway. Ah, oh, goodbye gemstones. Goodbye. Goodbye, gemstones. Is it just me or do we have like a lot more treats that we get now? Nice. Uh, okay, and feed the dragons. Yeah, I, I've been working on the feeding of the dragons for a while now. All right, so let's go ahead and feed her up so that she can be level nine. I'm just curious about what it would look like. We are now level 12. Oh, she got some teeth. Dang, Brindala. Oh, you got spikes all over the place now. Wow. <laughs> And let's go ahead and give her the fire spell just cuz I guess it's just like a decorative thing that you can give to your dragons But we need to complete that goal. We have now leveled up. We can have the boost brewery What we can build habitats. We can expand our park. We can now have a treat habitat What the heck? What are you talking about over here, my friend? Treat habitat? Why are there so many adorable ideas for all of these habitats? We can have the hibernation cave, treat path, treat flag, strange seashell. We can also have the treat wagon, the corn patch, the sunflower patch. Sunflowers! Oh my gosh, and look at the corn. It's multicolor corn. This is so cute. Oh, wow. Look at the walls. They're, they're corn. That's adorable. Are there like new dragons available or something? Cool, all right, we completed that. Oh, what's going on over here now? I thought this day would never come. Azza's the name. Remember me, remember that when you thank me for the boost potions. See all of this? This is the boost brewery. With Lillian's help, I've identified ingredients that power the potions to improve your park. You can see the ingredients here. Okay, speaking of which, we're missing a few. Go to Lillian at the airship dock and see if she's found anything. All right, wait, what? I want to see more. Okay, and Gwynedin is trying to talk to me. Okay, I gotta complete the tutorial. Ahem. <clears throat> Azza, here are those ingredients you needed for the boost potion. Boy, these things are all over the place. I'll keep an eye out and put them in the airship chest when I find more. All right, we collected some mushrooms. All right, now what are we doing? All right, good job. Being able to follow instructions is handy. Oh, I like her hair. Thanks for the ingredients. Now give me a second to clean up in here before you go messing things up. All right. Oh, hey! Cool! And I got a bunch of money for that. Nice. All right, she's really, like, she's focused. This is the brew the Boost Brewery. Don't touch anything labeled failed. I have no idea what will happen, but it probably won't be pleasant. I'm, a ge I'm the genius behind the magical boost potions that improve things around your park. Tap the empty cauldron to see what I've been researching. Oh my goodness! What? Adventure Catalyst, reduce the amount of time the airship is away by 25% for one day. Okay, all right, what's going on here? Nice, okay. All right, tap the cauldron to speed up the brewing. 
Okay. Bravo! You brewed something usable. Tap the boost potion for more information about its effects. Alright, so boost effect reduce the amount of time the airship is away by 25% for one day. Got it? Voila! Now the boost potion is active and the airship will return sooner, which is convenient because that's how you get more ingredients for boost potions. I've given you a goal to cast off an airship and collect more ingredients. You can manage that, right? Oh, I hope I can. Oh gosh, and there we go. We just got a letter and there is an adventure catalyst uh, that is active. So, oh, and then once one of the catalysts is active, it'll stay active like that. That is so cool. Okay. Uh, also, when we were inside, oh, we can upgrade it just like right away. Oh, it's so expensive. Why is everything so expensive? <laughs> All right, well, I need to earn more money, which means I need to level up my dragons. It's just like one thing after another. We still need to cast off, and I still don't have all of the things that I need to cast off just yet, but my gracious. Okay, what's in my inbox after that? Um, what? Go away. I'm. A oh, it's her again. I'm extraordinarily busy. Oh gosh, I love the little stamps. I almost want to make like a bunch of stamps for our various series that just have like, I don't know, the warrior cats or something in it and we could have adorable little stamps. Ah, oh, that'd be so cute. Anyway, <clears throat> uh, I'm extraordinarily busy. Oh, sorry. I'm narrating this letter aloud to my quick write quill. Someone just knocked on my workshop door, even though I very specifically told everyone not to do so when the red fire is lit. No one listens anymore. Can't a witch invent in peace? Oh my gosh. Okay, so she's awesome. Uh, you can read over this if you would like. I just know that a lot of you guys are going to be like, help, Siri, it's the wall of text, help. Read more, kids. Read your books. It's good for you. Mm. Uh, little old lady Siri rant. Uh, let's see. Point is, I'm very busy and I don't write letters to just anyone. What has me so busy? Inventions, of course. Who do you think comes up with all the excellent, uh, the ex excellently useful magic that powers your boost potions? Me. You're welcome. I said go away. I'm extremely busy, sir. Good day. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. <laughs> all right. And meanwhile, we have uh, Gwyneton and he is gallivanting in the Glimmerverse. I love how much story is behind everything here. Uh, and let's see, Astral Dragons? Okay, we'll read about Astral Dragons next time, my friends. But I am actually super curious, and yay, my dragons are giving me, oh, and we gotta gather up some more of their, their dragon root. Let's throw those down. So now we are level 12, and we need to be level 13 for something important, if I remember correctly. Is it upgrading you? No, that's level 15. Ugh, I'm always trying to upgrade that snackery so I can get more food for my dragons. Um, let's come over to our goals. Now we want to activate five boost potions. Some of these goals will take us a while to do and cast off and fill one airship. So I think what we're gonna do is we'll go ahead and speed through casting off for this airship today. And that'll be what we will finish up for today. So we need to get a whole bunch of fire sand and we need to get frozen vines and icy soil. See, all of those things are so cool to me and the, the design and the art for it. I know I keep mentioning that and it's kind of odd, but I just think it's so cool. But all right, we're gonna speed through some of these so we have the fire sand we're gonna speed through so we've got the frozen vines and we're gonna go ahead and send out another one of my dragons wait oh i don't have a dragon oh <gasps> you guys i don't have a dragon with those trades oh my goodness oh my goodness uh i think i need to go ahead and upgrade the frozen habitat so much money why <laughs> I need to upgrade the frozen habitat in order to have a dragon that can go into the wilds and gather up those bits and bobs. So yeah, I'm speeding through so many things, just rushing through left and right. Oh gosh, I really like spend more time, guys. You don't have to go this fast. But let's go ahead and crack this guy open because I'm pretty darn sure he was going to take me forever and a day to hatch. And... <gasps> He's so cute! Pazu the woolly dragon. So sure enough, he is a woolly dragon. We're actually going to put him up in the Arctic area. We have now unlocked his dragon breed, which is awesome. And we're gonna settle on in and let's go ahead and feed him up. I'm sure he's hungry. He's a uh, uncommon dragon. I don't think he's rare or enchanted because he's only two stars, but I love him all the same. Look at his little face. How could I resist a face like that? Here, eat all of my fruit ninja fruit. I'm sure, like, I just feel that's where all of the fruit ninja fruit goes. 
There we go. All right, so he is now level four, but I'm gonna feed him up a little bit more so that he can collect more while he's out there in the wilds. Also, the more we level him up, the more experience we're gaining. Let's just go ahead and straight up send him to level nine. I'm gonna send this poor little guy out into the wild, so I feel like he should be as big as he can get. Oh, he's amazing! <laughs> He looks like the, he looks like the creature from Star Wars. Oh my goodness. Okay, well he's good to go and he is ready to blast off into the wilds. Uh, let's go ahead. I'm gonna give him this cool this cool ice effect, which also gives us experience to give him. Cool. And let's send him into the wilds so that we can finish up this event for the day. So he needs to go get icy soil, my dear friend. And it's so expensive! Oh my gosh! How am I ever gonna have enough? How am I ever gonna have enough of anything? And then also, if you notice, sending him for just six of them is going to take 17 hours. So the basic rule of thumb here is to always be sending your little ones. Oh no, and I need fire sand. I need three fire sand. Oh, this is such a huge order. Ah! is to always, always, always be sending your dragons out to collect things. So I don't have a lot of uh, these lava orbs, so I'm gonna go ahead and send, I'll oh, send my beautiful wildfire dragon out to collect as many as he can. And these are clearly a lot cheaper. So the different areas definitely have different expenses to them. Uh, I'll go ahead and send my alpine dragon out to collect just one. Oh my gosh, I'm like broke as all get out now. But hopefully, that'll all have been worth it. Normally, I wouldn't rush through things like this, but I just want to share them with you guys. I know I keep saying that, but I'm just like having panic attacks because I'm like, ah, I'm spending so much money. Ah! All right, let's go ahead and fill up the frozen vine. So yeah, it looks like you get 2,000 maybe back uh, from completing these. I think you get at least enough to make it worth the effort. To, to go out there and we're getting really close to leveling up. So, all right, the bronze chest may contain the boost potion ingredients or all of these awesome things. We're gonna go ahead and cast off. Fantastic, we have now cast off in order. That's great and we can open up the chest. Okay, let's do this. All right, the eight flips. Oh, hey, we got some of the, the potion ingredients. We have some of the crystals. We're getting closer and closer to another enchanted dragon. More potion ingredients. More of the crystal fragments, which are really what I'm after. Oh, I won't turn down to the gemstones, though. Oh my gosh, we're almost close enough to make another enchanted dragon. Oh, yay, food. I'm never going to turn food down. All right, well, I didn't get quite as much as I was hoping for, but I think the next box that will, like the next shipment we'll send out, we'll be able to get more of the crystal fragments. I seem to have a lot of luck with those. And then we'll be able to get our second ever enchanted dragon, which would be so cool. All right, so she'll be back in five hours, which is really cool. And we are actually breeding dragons over here. And that reminds me, if I want to breed more dragons, we do want to look into unlocking the epic breeding dragon because this would allow us to breed two sets of dragons at once. The more dragons you breed, then the more experience you gain and also the more eggs you have and the more you can get those crystal fragments for rare enchanted dragons. Ah, and it just goes around and around and around in a big loop. All right, I'm gonna toss these down. And hopefully we'll be able to push really hard and make more progress, possibly, again, by trying to focus on the goals <laughs> in order to go and get ourselves up to level 18, hopefully before it is too late. But we are rushing through this beautiful dragony world and I cannot wait to see what other adorable surprises are waiting for us next time. So I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.